What's going on? And welcome back to Projects with Matt. In today's video, we're going to be spraying my favorite herbicide, Tenacity. I bought this kit online that comes with your blue dye, your Tenacity, and a surfactant. I'm sure we've all seen it on the internet, so here's going to be my unbiased review. And today, I'm going to be utilizing my brand new Bauer 5 gallon backpack sprayer. So I have filled this already with five gallons. I keep saying five. Four gallons of water. And let's go ahead and get the chemicals mixed. I like to put on a pair of gloves. I think they recommend you put on gloves. I will wear a respirator and goggles as I spray. And I'm going to wear long sleeves and long pants just to make sure you know, I am safe and protected. I'm going to pull the skimmer out just to mix the chemicals in. I want to start with the tenacity. So if you guys haven't bought tenacity in a while, the tenacity comes in a beautiful bottle that has the measuring on the side. So we're going to squeeze it until the four gallons of water looks like roughly there. I think I might have done a little bit too much. So we'll pour a little bit back. And now we're much closer to the four. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump the tenacity in. Make sure it all drips out. Perfect. And then we're gonna seal this back up. So the tenacity is in my sprayer. Next, we're going to add in our surfactant. This says one tablespoon per gallon. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the top as my tablespoon marker. I've read online that instead of a surfactant, you could use like a Dawn dish soap. Let me know in the comments if you guys have ever tried using something like a Dawn dish detergent as your surfactant. It says one to two uh, teaspoons per gallon. I've got four gallons. Uh, I'm just going to do four tops of my uh, surfactant here. So there's one, two, three, and four. Let that last one drip all the way out. Last, we're going to do our turf dye. Never opened this before. I've never actually used turf dye. This is the first time. I usually just guess of where I've sprayed. But people say this stuff is great, so we're going to try it out. So your turf mark also comes with a nice little handy dandy measurer. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Just be careful with this. The dye apparently does get absolutely everywhere. So we're going to be extra cautious. We're going to take this die, this top. We're going to throw it in our trash bin. You can see how it's dying my hands already. And we're going to squeeze into this. All right. And now let's see how that does. Nice. Nice, nice. All right. So now we've mixed our turf mark, our surfactant, and our tenacity. I know I just screwed the top on, but I realized I should probably stir this up. I know a lot of people suggest mixing your chemicals in like a five gallon bucket before you go ahead and pour it into your sprayer. We'll give it like another 10 seconds to make sure that tenacity is all mixed throughout. Pretty uniform. Right. 
back in. And let's close it up. So we're gonna start along the edge. I've got a ton of the purple stuff here. We gotta run it till the blue dye comes out. There we go. And now we can spray. All right, everyone. So that small section took about five gallons exactly. So a full tank and about a gallon or so out of the second fill up. I'll post a follow up in a couple of days to show you guys how the tenacity is doing its job. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me know that I should keep making these videos.